I know it's been a while since you guys have driven down dune palms, so I wanted to give you those nice nostalgic vibes as you arrive to school. Yay, it's dune palms. What's that up on the right? Is that? It is La Quinta High School. Dun, dun, dun. I should just put these again. I shouldn't just sing the music, that's weird. We have arrived back so we can pick up a couple of things. I wanted to give you guys a little tour of my classroom. Welcome back to La Quinta High School. I'm remembering the mornings when I would show up and there would be a big group of people right outside of this class getting ready, taking my keys out of my pocket. Not gonna lie, it feels really weird being back in here. Um, I wanted to film it partially so that I didn't have to feel it. Like I could just show you guys and I could put on my I'm on camera face, right? Um, but walking in, I, I made a little pile of stuff um, that I wanted to take home. So I came over here. I've got a couple of books. I got a couple of my favorite things. Yeah, the bear rug is coming home. The MIDI keyboard so we can do some more music stuff an actual loud clicky keyboard, this uh, Salsa de la Tierra, and of course my world's best entry-level employee sign. So I got a couple of those things, but the biggest thing that I'm having trouble with is looking at my three rules. Because when I look at my three rules, it feels weird having a big old sign that says, be here. And I don't know if I should leave it here or if I should take it home with me, but I know that I don't want to leave it up. I can't expect this of you guys right now. Um, I can at least expect you to be here digitally to show up in that way. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll take it home. And for all of those who were thinking it was just about me, no, this is Miss Ely's room. Miss Ely, do another little wave. There we go. I missed your first wave. So if you've been missing this space, here's a quick little tour of it. There's still a lot of cool stuff up. The robotics check. We'll use that money sometime. <laughs> and then you like how Miss Ely has better rules than me. Notice how none of them say be here because she knew this was coming. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The beautiful classroom. We're going to finish those cabinets. I hope so. It is a beautiful job on them. She's so mad. She's so mad. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm feeling a little bit bad about this. Just a little It's for you, though, so that we can all share this moment together. It's the first episode of Mr. Jackson Makes Friends, and I thought I would start with the friends that I have at home, like Pluto here. Hey Pluto, how you doing? So it's just a really simple question I needed to ask you, uh, which is, what is your favorite memory with me? Yep. Yep. Hey, hey Maple. Maple, when, when you're done with lunch, could you come over here and be a part of my video? Maple? Could you, I just have a couple of questions. It's really just one question. When you're done with lunch, could you, Maple? Maple, can you answer this really quick question? What is your favorite memory with me? Please, whoa! Maple, what's your favorite memory with me? Yeah, I remember that. When I picked you up from that place out in Joplin after the tornadoes, you were a little snowball and you stayed in my car. We were best friends. I love you, Maple. 
So getting the cat to come to me is a little bit more of a complicated process. Like right now she's out and I can see her, but I just have to sit here on the couch while watching Tiger King and hope she comes to me. Otherwise there's no way she's gonna answer my questions. Yoko, Yoko, come be my friend. I gotta ask you questions. Yoko. Come on. Maple did it. Yeah? Come here. It's right on over. Oh my gosh, it's working, it's working. It's working. Come on, Yoko. Come on up. Yes! All right, Yoko. Really quick, really quick. What's your favorite memory with me? What's your favorite memory? Is it being a cute kitty cat? Don't look at my socks. Don't make me film my feet. You know how the internet is about feet. Ouch. Ouch. Don't do that. Let me zoom out first. <laughs> Be my friend. <laughs> She's so mad. All right. Look, guys, I'm not going to lie. I know this was kind of a cop out. First of all, this project is really really difficult for me. And I bet that it's gonna be difficult for you guys too, especially in this situation where you're socially isolated. Reaching out to some people could cause a lot of anxiety. For me, it definitely does. And so in the spirit of April Fools, I think I kind of, I copped out on this one. Um, I understand when you guys need to do that as well. These are strange times and I want you guys to be able to give yourself a little bit of slack. Um, recognize that some days are going to be easier than others, some days are going to be harder than others, and cherish those that are close by to the best of your ability. Um, I'm going to try and reach out to some friends, but I just couldn't really do it today. So with that being said, I really appreciate you all. I hope that you're having a good day. I hope you liked a little tour of the classroom, and I hope you all know that I miss you. With that, stomp your feet, quack your smacks, Something else and yell quack, quack.